And as we degreed the Pro 2 cams on the episode 3 of the B20 VTEC series and also a dedicated video on how to degree cams with the Pro 2 cams. Quickly after we started seeing local Facebook posts of them degreeing their cams which is good and all that and then we saw one that was degreeing a soft VTEC and then we realized we could show a trick way on how we degree soft VTEC cams and it would help you guys a little more more and save a bit of time and headache so so you know you're gonna watch this because anything that helps you to improve gets you more power Alright now, the subjected engine is a D16Z6 VTEC, actually it's a D16ZC JDM. So we were, sh we we're supposed to show you this towards the end to gain audience retention, but hey, it is the main thing. We only degree the exhaust because as you know, there's only one cam gear. So once you get the lobe centers correct on the exhaust, def definitely the intake is going to be on the correct position. And you know, Crower or all the aftermarket cams have the spec sheet. So instead of going to the trouble of disassembling your rocker arms, unlocking the VTEC, and you might even lose a VTEC pin or one or two, you know, this avoids a lot of headaches. All right, now let's jump to this. We use the steel bracket on the exhaust flange to bolt up so that we can magnetize the magnetic stand for the dial gauge to be on the exhaust. So now let's go with the opening to 0.050. Alright, wait slowly, alright, there, alright, now we go back, or we go down to the degree wheel, alright now, let us check, okay, it's 10, 20, oh, it's 26, alright, now let's write that down on a piece of paper and we're gonna explain as we go along, let's go, alright, now we write the notes, it's exhaust is 26 before bottom dead center or BBDC all right okay now let's go check the lift or the full lift and then on the way down at 0 0.050 let's get the other numbers all right now as we go up to the dial let's get the maximum lift two three Okay, point three, let's keep going. Okay, oh there, that's it. Okay, okay, zero point three five zero point three six eight valve lift. Alright. So take note of that because we're gonna talk about it a little bit later. Now let's go to the closing side. Alright, we stop at point zero fifty again. Alright, wait there. Okay, now let's check the degree wheel. All right, now we go. Let's check. Uh huh. Oh, it's zero six. All right. All right. So we're gonna write that down. It's six. Okay, six before top dead center. All right, so it's opening at 0 0.050 on the 26 before bottom dead center and then closing at 6, all right? All right, so it's 26 and 6. So that is 2 on 2 duration and then we have to divide by 2 and then subtract the 6. It's 100 lobe center, all right? And then it's 368 lift. We're going to explain how we did the math. We did explain this on the 
how to degree video on the B series, and you can click here for that, but we'll explain this. The math is the same even in a B series. It's, this is how you get the lobe center, and we're going to write it down for you. All right, so it's 26 degrees before bottom dead center, right? And it's 6 degrees before top dead center on the closing, all right? All right, now you add the 26 and 6, then you get 32, and then you add 180 degrees, and you get a total of 212, and that's 212 duration at 0 0.050, you know, that, that's the specs. And to get the lobe center, you divide it by 2. So 212 divided by 2 is 106. And after that, you subtract the 6, which is the closing, from 106. So you get 100. And that's your lobe center. 100 lobe center. Or at 100 LC, you know. That's how you get it to the proper position. And, you know, whatever the cam or let's say Crower or Skunk 2, whichever they prefer, you got to get the lobe center on the right position to get the numbers that they suggest. That is why you need a cam gear, you know, an adjustable cam gear. All right. Now, let me show you something really, really interesting. And I know you're going to love this one because BC helped me on this. And before anything, if you like the video that we're doing right now, if it's helping you a lot, hit the like button because it helps us gain traction for improved 60 foot times. No, just kidding. It's to gain traction in YouTube so that there's activity. And it lets YouTube spread the video more so more people can view this and gain information, you know? So like and share now going back let me show you this this is a usdm d16 z6 cam spec and as you can see it's interesting it has 192 degrees duration at 0 0.050 and the gross lift or lift at the valve is 3 0.370 so that's we got 0.368 so that's quite accurate you know that's quite close but the duration instead of 192 we got 212 remember and that's the funny thing here years ago i sent bc my cam to be reground and a d16 a6 but then i told him i had a po8 cam that he could check and so i sent both he did check and he said there's a slight difference. The PO8 JDM cams has a slight duration. So that means this is what we found. It's 192 versus 212, right? But the interesting part is he says it's a few degrees retard on the VTEC lobes alone. That makes sense that people that runs the JDM cams has a little bit of more top end, right? Suddenly now it's a little interesting to be used on a turbo or forced induction. Hmm, to get more power up top. Interesting. So basically that's our trick, you know. We, we degree the exhaust cam lobe of the D16 Z6 VTEC because it's not a double overhead cam. So wherever the exhaust position is directly has the intake correct on, on the other side, right? So instead of disassembling the VTEC rocker arms and risking losing a, you know, VTEC pin or a rocker arm, it's really hard, you know? And every single aftermarket camshafts, like let's say Crower, even Brian Crower, or even Webcam, has the necessary cam card for you to get this as they suggested, you know. But also, the other funny or fun trick to do is you can degree doing using a stock cam gear like we did today or right now, and then install your china made cam gear just to see where where it's zero is not at zero and you can fix that after this you know 
and that removes any more guesswork or you know estimates that that's gonna be a bit dangerous for your valves or pistons because they might hit right so this removes the guesswork this way it can go straight to tuning and you can guys can enjoy the performance you know it's gonna be really good when it's like that because you get to enjoy what you build or you know just all fun right and soon you guys will enjoy this because i'll be working on my own personal d16a6 that we're gonna dyno and test a lot of different things like manifolds itbs and everything else that we can think of and you know but we also have this look we also did check an shg transmission which was new to me and now we're gonna see if it's a like vdi or ph12 or worst now after understanding the degreeing aspect of the sock vtech check this video that we had before and click here for this to understand how grave the situation is when you adapt the wrong things to the engine you know and so you can see that there's no way around it if it's wrong